Hi, my name is Jacqueline and I am a speech therapist with Great Speech. Today we're going to delve into reading comprehension and this is really great for those kids who have a difficult time um, with vocab or with understanding um, reading in their school and with activities or even writing and being able to express themselves in full complex sentences. I'm going to go over different options for reading comprehension levels. So when I give you these tips and tricks, they can always be enhanced and changed depending on what level your kid is at. So let's jump right into it. I have a passage here, and this is a fourth grade level passage. Um, but what you can do is go online and put into Google whatever grade your kid is. So let's say he's third grade, third grade reading passage worksheets or reading comprehension worksheets. And you'll be able to find a ton of free stuff online. If your kid isn't reading at grade level, I recommend going down a couple levels or whatever grade level he is reading on and look up those and start from there because you don't want to overwhelm them. The very first thing I do when my kid gets a reading passage is I have them skim through the reading passage and underline words that they don't know the definition to. And what you can do after they do that is a couple of options. One, you can have them read the sentence and see if they can get it through context clues. Or two, you can look up the definition and provide examples and make sure they're really understanding what it is. And the reason I do this is because that way when they are reading the text, they're not focused on reading the word and understanding what it is. They're more able to focus on the big picture of the text. The second thing I do is have them read the questions and answers. And this is really great because then when they're reading the passage, they have a more focused attention on what they need to pay attention to and they can, it's also a great opportunity for them to underline or highlight phrases or sentences that they think might be um, related to the questions ahead. So the third step is for them to read the passage. And I recommend them reading it out loud. That way you can gauge how well they're able to understand it based on are they reading it very fluently, very easy, are they having difficulties with some words, maybe you need to go back and review those again for them. Once they get through it all, we focus on the questions. Now when the questions come up, there's a couple ways you can handle them depending on what level reader they are. So the first one is just they don't see the, the questions at all. You verbally state the questions to them and the answers. And this gives them a chance to remember, um, just auditorially remember what the, the paragraph was and be able to answer based on what they remember just verbally. Another option is for them not to see the questions and you don't give them any answer options and see how well they do with that. And the last one is for them to be able to see it, for them to be able to see the question and the answer and then have them go back into the text. So you can have your kids go back into the text at any level, even if you are holding it away from them and they don't get options. If they're not getting it, I recommend you bring them back to the text, have them highlight, have them underline, have them circle, whatever is best for them, and figure out what the answer is, and then explain to them, if they're not getting it, how you know what the answer is, why you know what the answer is, where you can find the answer, and why that makes sense in the passage. And so those are my tips and tricks for reading comprehension. Um, I hope you found this video useful and stay tuned for additional videos. Thanks so much.